Hey guys, welcome to a very special episode of Collider Behind the Scenes and Bloopers. Do you wanna know why this is a special one? It's because I am gonna make Christian Arloff a very happy man. I am going to spice up our awesome tacular meeting with something he really doesn't want to do, and that's play a collider behind the scenes game. But you know what? I don't care, and I'm gonna make him play it. Fuck you too. Riley, where are you going? He threw my hat. We have to do something. Guys. Right, right. There's a showdown match four days from now. We have to play a game. <laughs> oh, no, it's the same showdown <laughs> Have you ever heard of Telestrations? We're gonna play not Telestrations because we're making it with our own office supplies. So I'm gonna give you guys each a pad on the front. They write their favorite memory of summer 2017. When they're done with that, they pass it to the next person. That person draws a picture of what they wrote. They pass it to the next person. That person writes in text what they thought they drew. And in the end, we wind up with lots of crap in this notebook that's a whole bunch of nonsense and a lot of fun to read. Let's see what happens when we gave this a shot. Does everybody get it? You're giving me a look right now and it's making me so nervous. Don't be the one to mess with the game. So, Riley and Ken didn't hear a word of that. Does everyone have a pad of paper? Okay, ready? Everybody turn their thingy this way and draw a picture of your favorite thing from draw summer. Draw a picture or write? No, write, write your words. Write your words. <laughs> Hold on. Do you remember the rules of this game? I've complained. How do we do this? Okay, pass me the rest. Yeah. Well, if I'd known Josh was getting this, I would have changed my answer. So really, this is a simple game that any child can play very easily. I mean, you could play it at home right now if you felt like it. You know what makes it really difficult? When you got a whole big bunch of babies at the table that don't pay attention and they mess everything up and they make fart noises. I wonder who I'm talking about. Thank you. Okay, everyone ready to pass? Hey, what? What's next? No, it's fine. Now you draw that. Yes. Yeah. What are we drawing now? We're, we're passing, just continue, keep same same motion. I've played this at parties. I know how it works. It's not working right. What's this? <laughs> You're terrible at this game. I've never seen so many adults be so confused by something that theoretically should be very, very simple to do. Now I do this. There's a backup over here in aisle six. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna see paper. Oh, all right, time to work. Apparently, uh, like per usual, Ken and Christian are uh, taking the game into their own hands. And they just, uh, you know, it happens. It happens. Um, this is why we can't have nice things. This is why we don't really play games. Uh, and this is why, uh, okay, I got something. Never mind. It's the hardest I've worked all day. I don't do fucking anything here, except I do everything here. So yeah, go fuck yourself, Christian. Hey, when you're done writing, pass the name. Hey, Grace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to work here. Thanks. <laughs> it looks like it's complete chaos. I have no idea what anyone is doing or drawing, and I don't think they know exactly what they're doing either. What? No, I'm feeling good about that. What the ever living fuck is this? And I've been asked to bring scotch tape into play, and I don't think this was even uh, a part, supposed to be a part of the game. So, my strategy is simple. Just about everything that guy wrote and passed to me involves death and booze. So I think I've got this covered now. <laughs> Why do I have three? No, I'm well, clearly, yeah, Riley, that proves you're, you're the bottleneck. No, I'm the... <laughs> You're an embarrassment to everyone on this panel, to yourself, to everyone you've ever encountered. You are a damn disgrace. What are you doing with yourself over there? Was that a ball bag with the Lord of the Rings? You have very long fingernails. All right, so, 
So we're done. Do you want cool, we're done? Great, sure. Awesome. Bye, Thanks. Bud. Oh, oh. Damn it, Bad. I think the way we should do it is you should read the thing you wrote to start with, and then you should read the last thing that you wrote to finish it. Sound good? Yeah. Mine started as Collider Ladies Night, hey. uh, which was very fun. It ended with getting tipsy and falling into a hole and dying, <laughs> which is not too far from the truth. I've got the pad that started with Thad. He wrote, Blacking out in San Diego. But I thought it was that time that Thad, just two weeks later, blacked out at Star Trek Convention Las Vegas. So that's what I wrote. Yeah, that's that's someone drinking too much at a, at a Star Trek convention. This one turned into, <laughs> Drunk Burnett gets tossed out of Enterprise and gets arrested for illegal hunting. I like this because it has little thought bubbles. Someone in jail yelling Hector Navarro, which the next person very appropriately interpreted as being Robert Meyer Burnett getting locked in the brig in outer space. <laughs> <laughs> I assume anyone locked in jail screaming Hector Navarro would be Robert Meyer Burnett. So I think that's a fair assumption. Uh, mine was took a three hour nap. <laughs> and it ended with death save me. <laughs> well, mine was almost dying from a nut taco. Makuga peanut allergy at Comic Con. Then two peanuts and a metrosexual lumberjack play sports. Then throwing cookies at some pickles. Then shooting cookies in a bag. So. All right, I started with going on the zip line at Star Trek Las Vegas. That went to. Oh, zip lining at the Rio. <laughs> zip lining at the zoo. A, w a wild day at the zoo where people jumped into animal cages and partied like rock stars. Sounds about right. And then people drinking on a sunny day with a big ass spider. <laughs> Mine was when it was over. And someone else drew a bunch of people and one person almost crossing the finish line. And then it, it veers way off course. Racing in the Summer Olympics. Ah, and then, then we get a swimming race in the Olympics. But I interpreted those Olympic rings, which are missing an Olympic ring, as poop. So I wrote, swimming in a pool with poo in it. <laughs> and then we got this masterpiece. This might be my favorite drawing. Oh boy. And then that's followed up with swimming with a stinky poop. <laughs> And then we get another wonderful drawing of someone swimming in a pool with poop. And it concludes with... Swimming in shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Christian got what was coming to him. Swimming in a pool with shit. Grace, you like that one? I love that one. <laughs> well then. So yeah, what's the moral of the story? We the just... moral of the story is bloopers. Ha! Fairy tales get dark, kids. It's not what you were told when you were five years old. Sometimes Santa comes down the chimney with an axe. <laughs> and that got a little too dark. Let's move on to our next topic. What's the deal here? Let's see what we got, boys. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. That's what it should look like. Pole dark coming in hot. Pole dark. Pole dark's Where's always little... good. Oh, yeah! There it is. Jared Leto was so widely not received as a good joker, so they feel they have this avenue to explore it. My concern is this. <coughs> Be Whoa. patient. Whoa. You can start. You gotta go to the doctor. I get all excited. <laughs> oh no! Wait, wait. Uh, Tom Riley's character has cancer. Oh, awesome. And I mean, that, that's not awesome. Yeah, it's not good for this presentation. Oh, yeah. Which was amazing. But I was sitting right next to yes, you. Yes, you were. That's right. Up. We yeah. were both like, yeah. what? <laughs> screaming yeah, and I wasn't stuff. There. That's we were, cool. We were that's ten great. years old again, John and I. August 29th. 7.30 p.m. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Will Jeremy John show up? Oh. Well, <laughs> if he doesn't. <laughs> so you gotta like, squint a little bit. It really hurts. Frank, what, you, what, what the hell is that? Welcome to Sassy Tuesdays. Please tweet me your Twitter questions at Mrs. Grace Face. Ha Gra Grace Face? You almost had it. Grace Face. We, we almost got it. It's like I stumble always. <laughs> Top five grossing horror movie requiring 350 million. Shadab, I'm throwing it to you first. I didn't hear it because there's a spider. Yeah, okay, spider. they're, they're, they're playing, playing around with a spider. <laughs> to women all over the world is unsurprising as, though he is a great filmmaker. Sorry, oh, guys. Boy. That's James Cameron calling right now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now I'm looking at the, I'm, I'm looking at the eclipse. It's actually, 
I want to skip movie talk today, but I have an obligation. I made a promise. So, you know, I struggle a little bit with intros and outros. I'm probably the worst person here at Collider doing that. But thanks to you, Ken from Chicago, at Ken from Chicago on Twitter, he gave me an introduction. Oh, so I'm going to read that now. Yes. David, House of... Wait, I messed it up. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, what, what, let me go over time. Here we go. Give me some more fist. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless. Well, Josh, there's a lot of fisting in the next <laughs> episode, few episodes. So. Better introduction to this character Michael K. Williams could have played. Mm. I talked to him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're getting up to the something. microphone like you're really excited. Like, uh, you heard something Perry said. And you just no, I thought she closed it strong. I was waiting for it. I closed it strong. No, that's it. Oh, snap. Now it does look like Pac-Man. <laughs> About the right stuff, the 1982 film uh, with Sam Shepard, the late great Sam Shepard. David. <laughs> oh, just uh, <laughs> you find me at Iron Fisting on. Uh, <laughs> sorry. There you go. Oh shit! Oh, that's like a, that's like a. I have some too. We can all share it. Yay! Janae. That was so good. <laughs> His vision is a different dish, yeah. and we end up just doing some weird, like, hodgepodge buffet. You know what I mean? That's how tapas that was That was a born. great metaphor, That's by the way. That's how tapas was born, and tapas <laughs> suck. Tapas, tapas is a ripoff. Tapas Nobody is the biggest Nobody likes tapas. When I hear, I, I like tapas. I like the food that comes on the plate. I like saying tapas. That's it. But it's expensive. Yeah. They charge you, like, $20 for half a meal. Cooks, 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 cooks. I can't see you. I guess I should have waited to put these on until we got outside. I can't see you. Yeah, I can't see you. Listen, just call them appetizers and charge them half. Welcome to Chili's, you jerks. Make their money on concessions, so I'm not going to weave if they're trying to sell me $12 worth of popcorn and I'm not there as much anymore. And don't drink the Sini water. It's the only water with salt in it. That's why you keep getting thirsty. Dude, what, what do you call it? What? The Sini, whatever Dasani? it's called. The Sani. The Sani. The Sani. Episode 7, Defenders, right here uh, on Netflix. Right here on Netflix? What? Are you from the dodgy oh, end of London? Come on. <laughs> no, I, 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 I live near the King's Road, near oh, Chelsea. So I'm, okay. Oh, okay. I'm doing okay, folks. All right. I'm large yeah. money. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I would definitely be in the poor part of London. <laughs> I don't have any money. Okay, so... It's just like middle school all over again. Be sure to tune in and remember, pick up the book, shit. Yeah, Put pick down up the, the book. book. That's right, Grace, that's right. You pick up that book, girl. Woo! What have you done? Woo! We're in like, we're in like this phase of the moon, right? Which phase of the moon are we at right now, Frank? I think we're in like, I think we're here. We're here, we're getting, uh, yeah. I don't know. I failed my science class. I have no idea what this means. What I'm have so you done? Sorry. Uh, we're gonna just fuck it. We'll do it live. Put down the dad. Yeah, what the? Put, put down the button. Pick up the remote. That's a wrap on this week's episode of Collider. Behind the scenes and bloopers. Did you enjoy all this nonsense? Tell me about it in the comment section below. Also, keep giving me suggestions for new episodes of Behind the Scenes. We do have a list going. Some of your suggestions are on it. We want to make them happen. While you wait to see those episodes, we have a whole playlist of old episodes that are so, so much fun to watch again and again. I would know because I have done it. So go check those out. And we'll see you next week with a brand new episode.